Hey, and we are mid-mission here, back in. I am sorry, I originally had the beginning of this mission recorded, but I fumbled on my words, and the frame rate drops were just ridiculous. I don't know what was happening. So, we're back here. I have my Necros, my Aether Reaper, my Ballistica, and, of course, my Soma. Now, I'm going to start with the Soma. Soma is, you know, to be honest, it may be a minigun, but it just feels like an extended clip assault rifle. It really doesn't have that gritty, take forever to wind up, but deal a shit ton of damage when it is feel to it. It's just like, this is a assault rifle with an exceptionally long clip. And that becomes especially true when you add speed trigger, because on the Gorgon, which it replaced, that I'm very sad about, you get the feeling of, oh, this is a minigun, you're going to start doing the hurting once this thing winds up. And you do. But with the Soma, again, it's just like you burn through ammo so quickly when you get in the later levels, you don't even notice how quickly you run through it. I mean, you're halfway through the mission, and you're like, what? What do you mean my 900 ammo is already gone? That's ridiculous. So, honestly, it's, a, it's not a bad weapon by any means. It's actually a really, really great weapon. It's the most versatile minigun I've ever seen. You can put it on literally any Warframe you want which is what makes it different from the Gordon, which was built, well, as a minigun should be, for the tank classes, or for classes that can just sit there and soak up the damage, like Frost or Rhino. But this Soma is your all-around version, so that doesn't make it better. That actually makes it different, and that's what I kind of like about it. And if I didn't mention the ridiculously high crit rate, me and my friends have a thing of calling it the crit stick, because it just does so much damage. But... I've noticed that with a lot of weapons that uh, have 100 clip size, especially from the research facility, their crit rates are pretty ridiculous. Which is weird, because the uh, Gricada's crit rate is actually not that good. So, you know, I guess tit for tat. But next, once I crack this, will be the Ballistica. This weapon took me by surprise. My friend described it to me as a hand version of a Paris. I looked at the charge damage and I said, well, you're not wrong. But then I looked at the charge damage versus how much the Paris actually does, and it's not the same thing. It's, yeah, I guess you could say it's a hand Paris, but you'd be missing half the point of owning this then. Because the other point of it is the burst feature, which you just saw me exercise on that mining machine. Which, when you do it in the beginning levels before you add the whole double damage thing, does basically not a whole lot to help you. But... Once you start seeing this thing in mission, you know, really start to dish out major hurtings with its burst function, you'll see what I mean. And yeah, it is pretty cool to charge up, but you don't always have to charge up. Plus you can use the... Okay. Plus you can use the trigger. If you don't charge it all the way, you can save it for when an enemy is in close enough range for it to be useful, or wait for an enemy to make that slight sudden movement where you can just release a burst of little rifle needles on their head. It's a great weapon. I definitely recommend it. You know, if you really like a bow and arrow and don't want to be a mag fag, you know, by the way, that's the term that I heard more than a few times used for mags that use bows and arrows, which I agree, it completely misses the point of the mag. If you really want to if you really want to give your your mag something like this, go ahead because it's a better alternative than using a Paris for a mag because the Paris just takes away so much. Or, uh, you know, actually, this is a review for this bundle. This is not a commentary on my opinions on Mag. Anyway, back to focus. The Ballistica does pierce occasionally. It's not a guaranteed pierce, but it does its job effectively, and I really like what it does. It just deals a ton of damage, and although you don't see it on the mining machine, you're watching these Grenier go flying backwards, and all it does is depend on pistol ammo. All around, just a really nice weapon to have. Don't skip on it if you if you want something like this and a little more controlled and held back. The last weapon in this bundle is, as you saw, the Ether Reaper. This is the two-handed alternative to owning Ether Blades, basically. If you thought the Ether Blades were very much lacking in charge damage, which they are, the Ether Reaper covers you. I mean, yeah, it's regular swing damage is all right, but when it charges up and you start using it against infested, you will notice the difference right away. It's it's a giant Tedo hatchet cleaver thing. That was specific, I know. But, you know, its charge time isn't too bad. It's basically like the hate, so if you like the hate but you want to use 
something more effective against the infested, then this is a great weapon. Go ahead and pick it up right away. Plus it has a really cool look. And you see that little white blade down there? Whatever you change the energy color to is the color the blade will be. So it actually can have some pretty nice aesthetic looks as I just rip through somebody. And as I said, this is no mod. I'm just literally just ripping through people no problem. You can imagine the kind of damage this deals against Infested. It is absolutely awesome. So, do not skip out on this either. Necros is a frame that I plan on doing a Know Your Allies on, so I'm going to keep it brief. He's a shaman type. I don't think people understand that most of the time. People are trying to make Necros main clutch. I'm like, Necros is support. He is the shaman which is how it was described to me originally, and I think a great way to keep it in mind. He's not supposed to be clutch. Just remember that. I mean, sure, at rank 30 he has, without any mods, 270 shield, 300 health, but if you've been in later levels, especially when the enemies start getting around level 30, you know the 270 shield takes you nowhere and does you no favors. So just keep that in mind. How does the set work all together is probably a good question. The synergy of the set is entirely in the weapons. It has heavy hitting, which is slow, for the Aether Reaper. It, has, it is fast and hard hitting, which is the Soma. And then it has that nice middle area where it can lay the smack down, but also pepper the area with its Ballistica. The Carrier Seminal and the Sweeper, not a whole lot to say. The Sweeper becomes incredibly powerful at close range, so if you're somebody who likes to run up in the faces of enemies, like with my Ash, I would recommend using this, or you have no problem getting up close and personal. Use the Sweeper. The Carrier Sentinel is really nice, because once you uh, put Vacuum up there, it'll start sucking in mods and credits and energy and everything. You actually really won't have to worry about it. Just kind of pass by it, and it'll pick it up. I think it's a wonderful benefit, and that makes it an all-around good Sentinel. I mean, its weapon and the Sentinel are both excellent qualities, so I have no complaints with it. However, my complaint with this set is the fact that you're giving a Shaman a minigun of really heavy damage, a really heavy damage melee that requires charging, and a Ballistica, which requires him to pretty much stand out there and then fire and then take cover. Shamans are not built like that. Shamans are built, as I've said before, as support classes. You know... Okay. You don't give a support class this kind of weaponry. So, although the weapons are great, and of course the Warframe itself is excellent, the weapons that they gave to it were less than exceptional, how shall I say. But, even that aside, it was still a great kit, it's a great bundle to pick up, I recommend it. So, with that said, that's it from Eternally Prussian's Warframe for now. And next, I should be reviewing the Berserker br br Berserker Brundle. Berserker Bundle. I'll see y'all later.